sample 5 on series parallel pipes and minor losses. The flow in pipe 3 is known to be 165 liters per second. If the roughness coefficient, Manning's 0.011 for all pipes, determine the following. The flow rate in line 6, the flow rate in line 5, the total head loss from A to E. These are the questions. So this is the situation. We have given discharge in pipe 3, 165 liters per second. So from here, we can compute the head loss of pipe 3. Then 2 and 5 are parallel. So they have the same head loss, so we can relate the discharges of 2 and 5. Then from there, Q2 plus Q5 equals 165. So we can compute one of the discharges, either Q2 or Q5. Knowing Q2 or Q5, we can compute the head loss. For example, in, in pipe 2, after computing the discharge, we can compute the head loss in pipe 2. Then, knowing the head loss in pipe 2, Combined with the head loss in pipe 3, you can now compute the head loss in pipe 4. Then knowing the head loss in pipe 4, you can compute the discharge in pipe 4. The discharge in line 6, therefore, equals discharge in line 4 plus 165 liters per second. So you'll get the head loss in a uh, discharge in line 6. Then the flow rate in line 5, actually the flow rate in line 5, has been determined already before the flow rate in line 6. Then the total head loss from A to E, the discharge in line 6 is also the discharge in line 1. So we can compute the head loss in head loss in line 1 and line 6. Knowing the head loss in line 4, then the total head loss is HF1 plus HF4 plus HF6. So that's the plan, that's the procedure for analysis. So first, HF is for more 10.29 N square LQ square over diameter to the 16 thirds. Let's compute the head loss in line 3. HF3 is 10.29 times 0 0.011 square times 300 times 0.165 square over 0.35 raised to 16 thirds, 0.35 diameter. So the head loss in line pipe 3 is 2.747 meters. Then HF2 equals HF5. HF2 equals HF5, so common 10.29 and N square. So I will not write this anyway, they, they will be cancelled. So I'll proceed with length Q square over diameter to the 16 thirds. 360 Q2 square over 0.25 raised to 16 thirds equals 600 Q5 square over 0.2 to the 16 thirds. Let's express Q5 in terms of Q2. So Q5 in terms of Q2 is 0.4272 of Q2. Then Q2 plus Q5 equals 165. Again, Q2 plus Q5 equals 165. Q2 plus 0.4272 of Q2 equals 165. This is Q5. So Q2 is equal to 115.6 liters per second. Having known Q2, we can compute HF2. HF2 is 10.29, 0 0.011 square, 360, 0 0.1156 square, the discharge over 0.25 to the 16 thirds. So HF2 is equal to 9.737 meters. Then we can now compute HF4, HF2 plus HF3. HF4 is HF2, 9.737 plus HF3. 2.747, so it is equal to 12.484 meters. Then, knowing the head loss in pipe 4, we can now compute discharge of pipe 4. So, 10.29.011 square times 1,200 Q4 square over 0.3 to the 16 thirds equals 12.484. So, Q4 is 0.1166 cubic meter per second, 116.6 liters per second. Finally, Q6 is Q3 plus Q4. So Q6 is Q3, 165 plus Q4, 116.6. So the discharge in line 6 is 281.6 liters per second. Then the flow rate in line 5. The flow rate in line 5 is 0.4272 of Q2. 0.4272 of 115.6. So Q5 is 
49.38 liters per second. Then the total head loss, head loss from A to E is HF1 plus HF4 plus HF6. So the combined discharge of 1 and 6, what is common to 1 and 6, 10.29 N square, Q square, and the diameter. So it's only the length that matters. So therefore, HF1 plus HF6 equals 10.29.011 square times 0.2816 square, the discharge over 0.45 common, also 16 thirds. Length of pipe 1, 300, length plus length of pipe 6, 600. So HF, this is HF1 and that is HF6. So HF1 is plus HF6 is equal to 6.284 meters. Finally, the total head loss is 6.284 plus 12.484. And the total head loss is 18.77 meters.